This is Cicero in Catalinam, Oratio Prima, Chapter 9, Part 3. And Cicero says, Quam quam quid ego te invitem? A quo iam sciam esse praemissos? Qui tibi ad forum aurelium praesto larentor armati? Cui iam sciam pactam et constitutam cum manlio diem? A quo etiam aquilam illam argenteam? Quam tibi ac tuis omnibus confido? perniciosam ac funestam futuram, cui domi tuae sacrarium scalerum constitutum fuit, sciam esse praemissam? Tu ut illa carere diutius possis, quam venerari ad caedem proficiscens solebas, a cuius altaribus saipe istam impiam dexteram ad necem civium transtulisti? So this is the, uh, the introduction of that silver eagle. So quam quam, once again, it's like, and yet, uh, like in the previous selection, and yet quid ego te invitam, and yet why should I urge you? Invitam is a present subjunctive, it's a deliberative subjunctive. Why should I? Why should I? Should I do this? Should I not? Why should I? Why ought I to do this? Why should I urge you? Now, this next part is rather lengthy and also rather uh, involved and confusing. It goes from aquo all the way down to esse primisam, all the way down there, the question mark. So what these are grammatically, you can see the aquo, and you can see the cui, and you can see the uh, aquo, and the cui, and those are all relating back to te up at the beginning. So the antecedent to all of those relatives is te. And so why should I urge you, te, you, aquo by whom, and then it's going to go to cui, to whom, and then we go down to a quo by whom, and then we know, then we go down to cui to whom. This is really long and confusing and complicated and complex, so I found the best way to translate this is to cheat a little bit, is to just make these causal clauses. So, although, why should I urge you? Since Skiam, since I know that esse primisos, that men, and I know it's men because primisos is accusative plural masculine, the os, plural masculine, and uh, the skiam is going to introduce an indirect question, that men have already, yam, already been sent forth aquo by you. Since I know that men have already been sent forth by you, qui, who, men, who, tibi ad forum aurerium praesto larentor armati, who are praesto larentor, it's a deponent verb, so it looks passive, translate as active, they are waiting for you, tibi, takes the date of tibi, at forum aurelium. Uh, it's a small town along the, the road, the via aurelia, it runs from Rome along the west coast of Italy all the way to Pisa. So Cicero is claiming that there are some armed men, armati, and they've been sent forth, primisos, by aquo, by Catiline, by you, and they're waiting ad forum aurelium, at forum aurelium, for Catiline to show up. Uh, so they can go forth north to Etruria to join up with Manlius and the illegal army. So since I know that men have already been sent forth by you who are waiting uh, armed for you at Forum Aurelium, cui uh, yam skiam, pick up with another uh, causal clause, uh, our little cheating way. Since I know that already a diem, a date, has been pactam et constitutam, 
has already been uh, picked and decided uh, cum manlia, with manlius, and that's a date for the conspiracy, for the attack. Uh, since I know that uh, a date has already been picked and decided with manlius, uh, cui here is something like um, a dative of, uh, dative of agent, with the perfect passive verbs pactam esse and constitutam esse, the essays are implied, seems to be following a Greek usage. He likes to do that. He likes to, because um, Greek, with, when they have perfect passives in Greek, the agent uh, is often in the dative. Um, and Cicero seems to be following suit here. Uh, and that explains the cui uh, instead of the aquo. Uh, not sure why the it was aquo with the primisos earlier and it's cui now. Uh, with the Pactum et Constitutum, it's just explain these as that's Cicero. Aquo etiam aquilam illam argenteam, uh, by whom that, and when ille illa illud follows the noun, uh, it means that particular uh, thing, and you know which one we're talking about. So that particular silver eagle. You know which one we're talking about, that Aquilam Argenteam. And in Aquila, the eagle is the standard, uh, the symbol of the legion. It's carried in the front of the legion by the Aquilifer, the Aquila Ferro, the eagle carrier, the eagle bearer. So if a legion loses their eagle, it's one of extreme disgrace, and the legion is disbanded. Uh, losing the eagle is very bad, very bad luck. Uh, the historian Salus says that uh, this silver eagle that Catiline has once belonged to Marius, and it was one of the standards that Marius uh, used in his campaigns against the Cimbri in 101 BC. Somehow, Catiline ended up with this eagle, and because Marius's campaigns against the Cimbri were uh, victorious, uh, it's probably believed that the eagle would have had some sort of good luck or a magic power that went along with it. So Catiline could always hoist up the eagle to his followers and say, well, this was Marius's lucky eagle when he fought against the Cimbri. Um, it, it seems, and Cicero will go on to say this, that Catiline has had this object, this eagle, at his house, and he's got it in his uh, household altar. And he used to uh, extend his transulisti, the last word in the sentence, to extend his, his ungodly right hand towards it in sacrifice and prayer whenever he would go out and murder citizens. So he would pray to this altar, he'd fetishize this, uh, no, pray, he'd pray at the altar, uh, fetishize this eagle. He would pray to the eagle like some sort of idol and then go out and murder citizens. Anyway, back to the silver eagle. Uh, the aquo is an ablative of agent. The antecedent, once again, is te. Uh, and the thing that was, uh, the verb that goes with the aquilam illam argenteam is all the way down at the end, the esse primisam. Uh, since I know, since I even know that that particular silver eagle, and you know which one we're talking about, Catalan, has esse primisam already been sent forth. That silver eagle, quam, and the antecedent, of course, is the eagle, which confido, I am confident that, and uh, now we are inside an indirect statement, that that silver eagle, I am confident, will be futurum, will be tibi octuis omnibus for you and for all of yours, for all of your friends, for all of your loser buddies. It will be an object of perniciosum ac funestum. Um, it will be deadly and uh, fatal. It will be, or ruinous and fatal. How about that? Perniciosum, pernicious. Full of perniciosity, pernicity. Uh, it will be deadly and fatal. Which I am confident will be deadly and fatal to you and all of your friends. Cui. Uh, domi, domi being the locative of domus, so at the home, at your home, domi tui, at your home, sc uh, sacrarium scalarum. Scalarum is in brackets, so some texts do not have the scalarum. Uh, I thought it was too good to pass up because it uh, means wickedness and it contrasts nicely with sacrarium, which means uh, sacred or holy, something that is set apart uh, by the gods.
So it's a wickedness or a criminality set apart by the gods, a holy wickedness, an altar of wickedness, a holy place of crime, which um, is kind of an interesting uh, paradoxical sort of oxymoron, oxymoronic phrase. Um, and the Kui is once again one of those dative uh, of agents with constitutum fuit, uh, which uh, at, at your home, it has been set up uh, at the altar of wickedness. And uh, for whom? I'm sorry, the Kui goes with the, the, the Aquilum. For which an altar, a sacrarium of wickedness, had been set up domi tui at your home. So the altar was set up for the, the eagle, and uh, the antecedent of Kui is, um, is the Aquilum. So all that big, hairy, nonsense sentence together is something like, and yet, why should I urge you? Why do I continue to urge you? Since I know that men have already been sent forth by you, who are waiting for you armed at Forum Aurelium. Since I know that already a date has been set and decided with Manlius. Since I know that that silver, gold, that, that silver eagle has been sent forth by you, that eagle which I am confident will be uh, will be fatal, will be a ruinous and fatal thing for you and for all your friends. Uh, that eagle for which an altar of wickedness was set up at your home. <clears throat> tu ut illa carere diutius possus. Uh, once again, these are uh, Ut illa carare diutius possis, uh, ut plus possis, ut plus the subjunctive. Uh, grammars and commentators tend to take this as, um, as, uh, do, do, uh, as an exclamatory question, highlighting Cicero's contempt. That's probably is the best way to, uh, to take this. Uh, so, like, as if. As if you are able to be absent carere from it illa diutius any longer. As if you are able to be absent from it any longer. Ugh, you disgusting man, you. This thing, quam, which, uh, solebas, you were accustomed, which you were, uh, wont to venerari, a uh, deponent verb, looks passive, translate as active, to venerate, uh, ad caedem proficiscens, uh, present active part of participle proficiscens, uh, setting out, going out, agrees with the subject and implied uh, that too at the beginning. Um, proficiscens, setting out ad caedem for slaughter. So you can say when you were setting out for, when you were accustomed to set out for slaughter, you used to uh, venerate this thing, or you used to, ve you were accustomed to venerate this thing when you set out for slaughter. So as if you could be absent from it any longer, it's like a drug. You need it. You, you're kind of itchy, aren't you, Catalan? You don't have this silver eagle. You already sent it forth to the Legion. But, you know, you had this thing for so long. You set up an altar in your house for it. You used to transtulisti istam impiam dexteram. You used to, to, to extend that damn ungodly right hand of yours towards it. Uh, to the murder of citizens, uh, this this thing that you used to worship and fetishize, when you proficiscans were setting out for slaughter, acuius ataribus uh, saipe istam impiam dexteram, and just to polish off the ending, um, the quam beforehand, the antecedent uh, is the eagle, is the aquila, and uh, the cuius also refers to the eagle. Uh, used to transfer transtulisti that damn impiam impious ungodly right hand from its altar from the altar of it cuius of the eagle uh altaribus from the altar of it uh towards the neck and kiwium so if you can imagine cataline at his altar and i put a couple pictures of uh, roman household altars in your notes and glosses he transtulisti transfero. He extends or he transfers his right hand, and of course that is the the right hand is the lucky hand, the hand that makes sacrifices. You would make a sacrifice with your sinister, your left hand. So he extends his right hand towards the altar, 
towards the eagle in order to pray and offer um, votives for uh, murdering citizens. And then he takes that right hand and he uses it towards for murder, for ad kaidem, for ad nekem, for slaughter and for murder. So using this uh, this object of, uh, of worship in the Roman army as an object of um, a focus for his uh, psychopathic tendencies.